And we've all been craving college football. It's finally here. Uh, Furman kicking things off at home tonight. Fox Carolina's Carmine Jume shows us how it all went down. Furman football kicking off its 118th season with a huge win, 45 to 10 over Tennessee Tech. And they were very impressive in this game. It's only the second time ever that Furman has played a Thursday game at Paladin Stadium in the 42 years of being here. And they built on what they did last year, which was lead the entire FCS, the entire country, in turnovers forced. They forced 29 turnovers last season in 13 games. And right off the bat, just a couple minutes into the game, forced this one right here. Check out Travis Blackshear picking this one off and then He's breaking the law, speeding in a school zone, takes it all the way back for a touchdown. The coaches and players blocked my view, but Travis scoring the first points of the Furman season, and he spoke about that score after the game. I was able to make that play and score with it, so it's always a great feeling when, when corners don't get too many opportunities like that, so you got to take advantage of it. Furman forced a total of six turnovers in this game. Later in the fourth quarter, they also had an interception return for a touchdown by Dan Skiana. It was 67 yards, and it actually meant a lot more than just football. Here's Dan and his coach speaking about that moment. Well, since my father left uh, Tuesday night, 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 got back last night. Last night. Yes, last night and then, uh, and that was him. Just, that was definitely him. So I'm just really proud for him and his family. Beautiful moment for Dan and his coach Clay Hendricks to share right after the game. And it only ramps up from here for Furman after a 35 point win against Tennessee Tech. They're heading to Columbia to play at South Carolina. And of course, South Carolina playing North Carolina on Saturday. College game day will be there. We have Wofford playing some ACC action. And then Clemson playing at Duke on Monday. So an incredible slate for our South Carolina teams. For now, reporting at Furman, Carmine Jume, Fox Carolina Sports. Got a win tonight with Furman.